All right, what's up team? This is Jay Cypher here. I want to deliver a Cypher short, but this is a very information packed, very, very information packed uh, Cypher. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be long or short. Let's try to move through it quickly. I just got finished running 3.4 miles. I'm, I'm averaging now an 11 minute and 45 second mile. Um, so I'm, I'm getting there. Obviously I slow down as I go because I'm very heavy. There's a lot of wear and tear as I run, but um, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm improving and I'm happy about those improvements. Let's go ahead and jump into the market right here. Market is absolutely red. Everything's taking a hit. There's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt here. A lot of people are scared um, to put their money in. When there is blood in the streets, this is blood in the streets. Now is the time to buy. I'm not telling you to buy. I'm letting you know <laughs> that this is a great time to buy for those type of investors, especially if you like to hold. Let's keep it moving. We're going to talk about XRP today, XRP2. That's what we're talking about. And we're going to start with Tether because we need to know what, where everything's going. This is not Tether, but this is associated with Tether. Let me move this a little bit. What is this? What is this chaos right here? This is Terra USD. They claim to be a one for one USD. Basically, that means one of these USTs, these Terra USDs, equals one American dollar USD. That is a lie. That is a lie. You want to know what else is a lie? And, and now the cracks are starting to show. And I'm letting you guys know that the cracks are going to be, continue showing. This is going to cause a lot of chaos in the market. Lawsuits are going to come out. Lawsuits are already out for Tether. This is Tether. Tether USDT. I stay away from this. This coin is not a healthy coin to be into. This is not good long term. And this will this will ultimately crash. Let me show you why. My friend X squared. He's not really my friend, but I love this guy. He's, he's, he's a patriot. He loves you guys too. He's looking out for your best interest and he creates these magnificent charts that you will not see anywhere else. And he breaks down the information. I, I need to keep moving to keep this short, but you guys need to pause this and take a look at it. Or go to his go to his um, Twitter right here and check this guy out. Pause it. Check this guy out. Go through his list. You're gonna see crazy stuff. And one of the ones right here is it shows you how you know the original investor a fiat is added to tether as printed or minted. Um, and this is tied to Chinese Evergrande Group, which is now in hot water right now in China. I believe that they are the, the team that's going around developing these, these, these metropolises in the middle of nowhere in China that are very sparsely populated. Probably the only people populating them are the people that are taking care of the cities, the people that clean it, construction workers. Um, you know, whoever's managing the water, the electricity, or the infrastructure, and, and a few like the, the, the um, clerks. And, you know, there's cities that are just empty, nobody living in them. Condos, brand new condos. It'll put most American cities to shame that are crumbling. And there's homeless people everywhere. You know, no, no, no shade on the homeless people, you know, but like it's, it's, it's not somewhere that you would want to be. You would want to raise a family that you were like, oh, yeah, you know, let's go visit here. You know, it's falling apart underneath certain policies that, you know, I'm not going to get into. But look, check this out. Evergrande defaults is what's going to happen. They're going to default on all their fake loans and fake money. Tether is going to default as well because Evergrande is tied to Tether. And I believe that what they're doing is they are counterfeiting USD, loaning it out to themselves, and then pumping that fake money into construction projects that have no real true financial backing. But then again, uh, so does our USD have no backing. So 
They're counterfeiting counterfeiters. <laughs> Where is the real value coming from? Where is the real money coming from? You know, um, and then this is the big thing that I wanna that I want to pump into. Um, Binance, if you guys are on Binance, Binance, of course, is a Chinese company. It's big. I used to have Binance, but I can't anymore, probably for good reasons. Binance is going to go down as well. Binance is going to go down, and that is because Binance is heavily dependent on Bitcoin, and so is Ethereum. And I'm telling y'all are watching right here the great collapse that I have that I am talking about between Bitcoin and Ethereum. When this happens, see this printer? See this printer? This is a money printer. It's printing out fake money. And that fake money is being dumped in directly into Bitcoin and Ethereum, pumping these, these coins up. A lot of the other coins don't have this backing. Maybe they do indirectly or secondhand from this, but they are getting direct pumps from fake money. That is, that is tied to pretend money that's tied to a devaluing dollar. Y'all need to understand that, that this is where all of the craziness is coming from in the market. This right here, Bitcoin. All right, let's 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 keep it moving. I, I need to spend more time on that, but let's keep it moving. Um, again, X squared. Look, y'all need to understand your investments. USD, USDC is one of the few coins that actually is backed one for one. Um, it's a good coin that people trust. Um, and that's why it's on Coinbase. Um, I'm not trying to super pump up Coinbase right now because it has its own issues. But y'all need to understand some of the big names. If you work for a company, Fidelity is, is in on this. Um, BlackRock, which owns half a damn America, is in on this. Um, Circle, a gigantic company, is in on this. They um, actually, I believe they own USDC or they, they created USDC. Y'all need to understand that this is what's going on right now. This is what's going on. Um, look, y'all need to look over these charts. I don't, I'm, I can't, I can't do this all day. We're, we're gonna keep it moving. I'm uh, look, this is what I do. I'm trying to take this nebulous <laughs> nebulous large swaths of, of information and break it down very simply so that a sixth grader could understand um, or somebody who's had a job if you had ever had a job and paid taxes even if it's McDonald's it doesn't matter I used to work at Burger King when I was younger. I, I did carpentry and I worked at Burger King. I worked my butt off ever since I was young before I joined the Marine Corps. Look, there's a lot of information. I'm trying to compress it so that anybody can understand. And that's what I'm here for. And these people on TV are lying to you. If you haven't noticed yet, if you're still underneath this brainwashing, you know, that's this mass psychosis, mass brainwashing that's going on. These people on your TV are lying to you. Not only that, they are paid millions of dollars to distract you from what's really going on. I'm not here to talk about the distractions. You get the distractions as soon as you turn on your 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 Facebook or your your um, TV or your little news feed or whatever you you get the distractions. I'm here to bypass all that and give you what you should be paying attention to financially. Um, in some lighter news, um, in Japan, in Japan, even though I'm not 100% sure if this is in Japan, um, an R34, I believe that's an R33. You can get tuner cars. You can get any Japanese car now in Japan with XRP. That's right. You can pay an XRP to get cars now. This, this is adoption. They don't care what's happening in America with the SEC case. They're like, hey, come buy our cars with XRP. Why? Because they know XRP is worth a lot more than what it's hiding out at, which is, I believe, around 50 something cents right now. Buy XRP. You know, this is a Sylvia. Great car. Um, you know, it's fun. This 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 is an RX-7. This is actually one of my favorite cars. RX-7 is beautiful. Um, it's fast. It's 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 you can style it however you want. I just kind of love the design. 
uh, how round it is, and it's just it's just a beautiful car to me. Like it's just a beautiful car. Let's keep it moving. Uh, we already covered this, and then let's keep it moving over here. This is um, Project Dunbar, and there's a lot of different projects. I cannot cover all of them today because again, I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. Um, Y'all need to understand this is Ripple down here. Um, CBDCs are going to be tied to Ripple. CBDCs are going to be tied to Ripple. Um, Quorum, this is Accenture and R3 Corda. I need to take my R3 Corda course because it's the course I'm trying to learn. Um, Y'all need to, again, take a look at this. CBDCs are going to be central bank distributed currencies, which means these gigantic central banks, Central Bank of Australia, Central Bank of, ah, I should know what this, Singapore, Central Bank of South Africa, and Central Bank of, uh, what is this, Malaysia. Um, they all have their own central banks, and their central banks are going to create CBDCs. Um, Western countries have their own banks as well, and then they are going to be distributing um, crypto backed assets that are also probably going to more than likely going to be backed by precious metals. So you're going to have real value, real assets pretty soon. Let's keep it moving. Um, I'm going to leave this up here while I just mention something real quick. So I need you guys to pay attention to this because this has been said by Brad Garlinghouse, the, the CEO of Ripple. He said, what is the fastest way to send, he used money, I'm going to use $100,000. What is the fastest way to send $100,000 to Europe? I'm going to use the UK or Nigeria or India for, for my Indian audience. What's the fastest way? You have to seriously sit there and think about it. You can use a money transfer, which the bank itself will tell you, hey, this might not go through. You might lose this money. Like they will tell you to your face, you might get screwed. Um, even though this is supposed to be trusted in between two trusted institutions, the fastest way is to load up a briefcase with $100,000, handcuff it <laughs> to yourself, and go through the airport terminal, which the TSA might try to steal your money too, because I've heard they, they, they got some, they got some, mm, maybe I shouldn't say it, but you know, they're, they're like that, um, sometimes. And then you have to bring it on a flight over to your destination, get inside of a taxi, and then drop it off at your destination to finally give that person $100,000. And even after they have it, if you're in that other country, you're still going to have to exchange it for your currency, which is going to incur a fee, a gigantic fee probably. So in order just to utilize that money. So yes. That is the fastest way to transfer money, which is probably, you know, two days maybe at most, depending on how many stops you have or whatever. Um, yeah. But if you wanted to do it through the bank, you're going to, again, incur a fee. And then it's going to take five, six days to settle. And there's a 6% rate at a failure. So it can be sent. Everything looks, everything checks off, everything's beautiful, and then boom, it still doesn't settle. And boom, your transfer doesn't work. So you waited a whole entire week for the transfer to not go through. I just wanted to go ahead and toss that out there, you know, because that's the fastest way to send $100,000. Ripple is trying to change that with the bank Santander. Um, people have, a lot of people have Merrill Lynch. Bank of America is huge in this. Um, Stellar is also in this, XLM. Look, there goes Circle again, R3. Again, I need to take that course, R3. Um, there's MoneyGram, they've already tested with Ripple. Look, you guys need to understand this is what's going on. Big banks are already behind all of this. JP Morgan Chase has JP Morgan Coin, so they're doing their own thing. So let's keep it moving because there's a little bit more to cover um, and we're almost to 15 minutes here. Again, Go to X. I call him X squared. I don't know his real name. I need to know his real name. But this is X squared. Look, Ripple in Asia, they are everywhere. Hong Kong, Japan, Nippon, Vietnam, Vietnam, <laughs> Singapore, <laughs> um, Singapore. Half half of my my um, family is from Vietnam. 
um, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Um, Cambodia, uh, look, they are everywhere. SBI, Ripple, Asia, they're ready to go. They don't care what the U.S. is doing. They don't. They don't give half a damn. They are moving forward. Well, look again. More charts. This is all Ripple and all CBDCs. The digital yen, um, the digital bat, the digital 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 bat, the digital digital dong for um, for um, Vietnam. Look, the v digital peso for the Philippines for all my um, for all my Filipinos out there. Look, we're moving forward. The world's moving forward with Ripple. What is the U.S. doing? They're trying to sue. Why are they trying to sue? So they can get their friends in front of it so for when the wave hits and then when they finally get out of the way, all of their friends make out like bandits. And y'all don't even know what Ripple is. You don't even know what Ripple is, but they're over here getting rich off of your ignorance. I'm just trying to get y'all in front of this. This is the last few slides I'm going to show, um, if you can call them slides. Uh, check this out again from X Squared. I believe I've shown this again before, but IBM, I'm gonna I have to go over IBM, but this is more about Ripple. I want to show y'all the future that we're moving into. I'm gonna keep it moving because I want to show y'all the visuals, um, not just the charts. You can pause this, you can look back at it through X squared on Twitter. Boom. They are moving towards towards um, automated farming. Beautiful fresh crops in a greenhouse. Greenhouse environments. You're gonna have a uh, white, uh, big old white uh, towers. Um, look at this. Drones are going to be moving the tractors instead of people. There's gonna be one guy can manage a whole entire farm from his laptop. It's gonna be glorious. I want a farm. If 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 Bill Gates stops buying up all the farmland and leaves some for us, then I want a farm. I want a few acres. I wanna I wanna you know I want all this for myself. Look at this. He's, Homeboys walking around with the pad, um, little robots that instead of making cars, they're going to be making plants. This is going to be glorious. Um, let's keep it moving. Smart cities. Now, everybody's been talking about smart cities. Um, unfortunately, they want to have robots here policing everybody. I, mm, mm, I don't agree with that. Solar panels. I believe that there's going to be free energy tech that's going to come out, hopefully. Um, it's all going to be tied to digital currency. IOTA is going to be going in between robots and robots. They're going to have smart cars. Hey, baby, I'm more of a, come here, Chops. I'm more of a manual shifting um, <laughs> twin turbo type of guy. But, you know, Zeri, come here, baby. Yeah, and, you know, well, let's come here. Um, SpaceX. Okay, go pee pee in the <laughs> um, look, they're, they're, look, SpaceX is on to something. They're going to be backed by the Space Force and, of course, um, the Department of Defense, the Air Force. I'm pretty sure the Navy will have something to do with this as well, even though they're not in here. Um, look, Starlink is going to be the Internet of the future. All these cables everywhere and everything and all this... Um, uh, it's going to go into the past. So, you know, I want you guys to understand. Um, unfortunately, they're going to have smart wars as well because people love blowing up the planet for whatever reason. Um, they're also going to be launching these um, space rockets into the future. Um, I mean, into space. Um, what's his name? Um, well, this looks like a cargo rocket. A cargo rocket. It's going to launch just like um, Elon Musk's rockets, and then they're going to come down at their destination, f falling, and then landing perfectly, and then they'll be able to deliver supplies wherever they want to all over the world very quickly. Um, here goes Elon Musk. Um, everybody love, has a love-hate relationship with Homeboy, and look. Cargo, cargo, cargo ships. You'll be, you'll be able to deliver whatever you want without ships, without um, airplanes, without people. You don't need life support and all this other stuff. You just shoot the rocket wherever you need it to go, and then boom, there it is. One last visual. Um, 
DARPA, um, this, again, is connected to Starlink, um, Space Force. Everything's going to be monitored. There's satellites on top of satellites on top of satellites, and they're all going to be interlinked together. This is Starlink, and they'll be able to deliver super fast, hyper internet all over the world at the same time. All these satellites linked to each other. Um, they'll be sending information back and forth and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this it's been 20 minutes this is the longest cypher short a lot of information and I hope you guys appreciate it um, I'm gonna have another one next time more focused on XRP in the future of it um, this is more of the present and kind of the direction we're heading towards I need you guys to understand XRP is huge. It's bigger than what anybody will tell you. It's so big, they're trying to sue it. Just like Google was so big, they tried to sue it. Just like Tesla was so big, the SEC tried to sue it. Just like Amazon was so big, they tried to sue it. And what do they do all every single time? They have their hands out, and at the same time, they're trying to get their friends in front of it so that they can all make a lot of money while you have no idea what it is so i'm just trying to say get in front of it now grab your surfboard and ride that wave before it's too late all right i've heard figures of up to ten thousand dollars a pop i've heard once it gets tied to gold or it gets tied to a thousand dollar bill like a digital perspective says you can be tied to a five thousand dollar bill and a thousand dollar bill uh, uh, and a hundred dollar bill they're all things you can peg you can peg it to precious metals such as gold or silver you can tie these digital assets to anything I seriously seriously doubt they're gonna be tied one for one one for one is old news nobody's gonna do that anymore after tether fails so here we go um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump out love you guys take care um, go ahead like comment subscribe let me know what you think um, if you have a favorite crypto project let me know let's talk about it all right y'all take care peace